In our previous video, we explained the principle behind the left and the right hand limit. And in this video, we shall be solving questions involving the left and the right hand limit. But before we proceed, please follow this channel for more interesting video. In this question, we are asked to find the value of A at which this limit exists. And the f of x is this. The condition given to us is that x is less than or equal to 1 and x is greater than 1. So for x is greater than 1 and this should be the right hand limit. And we will use this for the left hand limit so for the right hand limit we have a limit of x approaches one as two x plus a but x is equal to one plus h so the limit as h approaches zero of two into one plus h plus by a substituting h to be zero in this we have at least two into one plus zero plus a then i have this to be 2 multiplied by 1 plus a and this is equal to 2 plus a so this is our right hand limit to solve the left hand limit you will use this 3x plus 5 therefore the limit of 3x plus 5 as x tends to 1 minus this is equal to limit as h approaches 0 3 into 1 minus h plus 5 and this equal to 3 into 1 minus 0 if we substitute h to be 0 plus 5 and this equal to 3 multiplied by 1 plus 5 3 by 1 will give me 3 plus 5 and this is equal to it. So the left hand limit is 8. And we already know that the limit as x tends to 1, the right hand limit f of x is equal to the left hand limit, the limit x tends to y negative. f of x we got the right hand limit to be 2 plus a and the left hand limit to be 8 therefore making a the subject of formula we have a is equal to 8 minus 2 and this will give me 6 is our answer second question says that we should find the value of a for this expression does not exist so in the same condition we are given x is less than 1 and x is greater than 1 so this is the left hand limit and this should be our right hand limit for right hand limit 
limit f of x as x tends to 1. This will give me the limit, same thing as the limit as x tends to 1 of 2x plus a. And this is same thing as the limit of h tends to 0, 2 into 1 plus h plus by a. Substituting a, substituting h to be 0 in this equation, we have that this is 2 into 1 plus 0 plus a. Then I have this to be 2 by 1 plus a and this is equal to 2 plus a. So this is the limit of the right hand side. For the left hand limit, we we'll use this expression. Limits as x tends to 1 minus f of x and this, this is the same thing as the limit x tends to 1 our f of x is x squared plus 2a squared and this is same thing as the limit uh, h tends to 0 then 1 minus h squared plus 2a squared then and 1 minus h square is same thing as 1 minus h and 1 minus h this is same thing as 1 multiplied by 1 is 1 1 by this will give me minus h and this will give me minus h plus h squared this is equal to 1 minus 2h plus h squared so substituting this in this equation we have that the limit as h tends to 0 1 minus 2h plus h squared plus 2a squared if i substitute h to be 0 in this equation i have 1 minus 2 into 0 plus 0 squared plus 2a squared and this is same thing as this will go this will go i'm left with 1 plus 2a squared and we already know that the left this left hand limit we already know that the left hand limit is equal to the right hand limit so the right hand limit is limit x tends to 1 f of x is equal to the limit f of x uh, x tends to 1 our right hand limit is a plus 2 and the left hand limit is 1 plus 2a squared simplifying this further we have 1 plus 2a squared minus a minus 2 is equal to 0 so I have 2a squared minus a 1 minus this will give me minus minus 1 and this is equal to 0 and this is a quadratic expression solving for a the coefficient of a squared is 2 and this is 1 minus 1 so and 2 multiplied by minus 1 will give me minus 2 
So the coefficient of a here is minus 1. What are the two numbers when we multiply to give us minus 2? And if we add it up, it will give us minus 1. I think this will go minus 2 and plus 1. So if you multiply 1 and minus 2, you give me minus 2. And if you add minus 2 and plus 1, will give me minus 1. Therefore, we have 2a squared minus 2a plus a minus 1 is equal to 0. So we group it. And these two so taking two a's out two a squared divided by two a will give me a minus two a divided by two a will give me one and here we take out one as a factor a divided by one will give me a and minus one divided by one will give me minus one and this is equal to two. so we have the factors to be 2a minus 1, 2a plus 1, and a minus 1 equal to 0. This implies that 2a plus 1 is equal to 0, or a minus 1 is equal to 0. Making a the subject of formula here, we have that 2a is equal to minus 1 and a is equal to minus 1 over 2. And here is a is equal to plus 1. These are our values of a. Thank you for watching our video. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you have any question, don't hesitate to email us at sciencelearningacademy.com. Thank you.